Here, we'll look at some interesting relationships between numbers, sums, and squares. And to this algebraic sounding problem, we'll be taking a geometric approach. And finally, we will see how we can apply it to our advantage at a fast food joint. To start with, here are three fast foods. Say, we have a sandwich, which is sold by the foot. Here, then there is pizza, whose quantity can be best described in terms of the area. And finally, we have a drink, maybe milk or soda, which is sold in volume. Now, let us see uh, how they are sold and how they are mentioned on the menu. The sandwiches like this are mentioned uh, in terms of their length, so six inch foot long. And uh, of course, the drinks are specified in terms of their volume, like 250 ml. And taking two six inch sandwiches, uh, we can be sure that we are getting a foot long. So sandwiches add in a simple manner. So do drinks like soda or milk. But when it comes to pizza, it is always mentioned in terms of a length, its diameter, say 10 inch pizza. Okay. But does that mean that two 10 inch pizzas add up to the same quantity as a single 20 inch pizza? Let's check. So let's say here we have a 20 inch crust and on that I'm going to place two 10 inch pizzas like this. So here is one and the second one. And you will see there is a lot of area uncovered. So we can clearly see that two 10 inch pizzas add up to much less than a single 20 inch pizza. But if it is less, how much less? We can't really see that here because circles are difficult to pack and tile. So let us use a square instead. So here I have a square and in that square I'm going to pack some squares of half the size. So here is the first one, the second one, third and fourth one. So if we have a large square, then there could be four squares packed into it, which are half the side. But is this true only for squares or would it work out for something like say a hexagon? Let's see. So let us start with this large hexagon and start fitting hexagons of half the side. So here is second one and third one. And you can see there is still some space left. So let's make shapes out of those. And we can move these shapes together and see if that is going to give us something like a hexagon. And indeed it does. So we have one, two, three green and this fourth uh, yellow hexagon. So indeed doubling the size of a square or doubling the size of a hexagon quadruples its area. And in general, this is true for any shape. So far, you are keeping the shape the same. That is, it is similar in geometric terms. Then area will be quadrupled if you double any of its linear dimension, its length, its radius, its uh, diagonal even or diameter, anything. Finally, getting back to our fast food scenario, as far as subs or sandwiches go and drinks go, the equation is pretty simple. Twice the length should cost you double and twice the volume should also cost you twice. But when it comes to pizza and if you want to compare the value of a 10 inch and a 20 inch pizza, then the 20 inch pizza should cost four times more. In that case, you can either buy four 10 inches or one 20 inch. But if the, it is priced more than four times, then you better buy four 10 inch pizzas. And if it is less than four times the price, then you better buy a single 20 inch pizza. Bon appetit.